If you have ever sat in a Scorpio or a Bolero, you know exactly what body roll feels like. On a broken road, it feels exactly like a jhula or a swing, except that it swings sideways. Body roll precisely refers to the tilting or leaning of the vehicle's body towards the outside of a turn when cornering. Cars that have a higher center of gravity, like the Scorpio Classic, rolls more. But ever wondered why a car that has a lower center of gravity, like the city, still has some body roll? Why is it that eliminating body roll is so hard? Enter roll center. Roll center is simply a point about which a vehicle's body rolls. Now, the bigger the difference between the roll center height and the height of the center of gravity, the more will be the body roll. So, can we not bring the roll center up? Well, we can, but there's a catch. The roll center height is inversely proportional to the ride quality. So, you increase the roll center height, you automatically make the ride quality worse and also worsen the issue of jacking, which is when the wheels of the vehicle gets tugged towards the inside and lift the vehicle's body up. It affects the ride quality negatively and makes the issue of jacking much worse. Therefore, as a compromise, engineers always design the suspensions for a suitable roll center height that is good for ride quality but is not too bad for the body roll. I hope this explains why it is always a compromise between ride and handling. Share this and I'll see you in the next one.